Jeez. Fuck you! You oh, be shit, mate! Shit! or imprison me in a crawl space for 20 years? Joke, kind of. You're cool, right? Sorry, I'm coming down. I've been parting like a biatch. Yesterday was a blizzard, man. I don't even remember getting out of bed, let alone going to bed. Good times. Yep. Okay, and what's on top of the Vinewood Hills? I'm going to see my man. He's a security guard at the broadcast tower right behind the famous Vinewood sign. He's been stressed out, really working long hours, so I thought I'd surprise a big lug. We haven't seen each other for like a week. Or maybe it's two. I don't know. Crazy how time flies. Wait, that's my phone. Speak of the devil. Hey, sweetie, I was just talking about you. To this guy who was nice enough to give me a ride? No, not like that. I'm pitching back into town. Yeah, I know what happened last time, but I'm pretty sure this guy is okay. I ran out of money or I would have gotten a cab. Yes, all the thousand you gave me, what's the big deal? I said I'd pay you back. I'm sorry, okay? My phone was out of juice. I only just got it charged. I was staying at a friend's at Sandy Shores. You know, Brianna or Susie. No, I haven't spoken to him in weeks. This is just some random guy, I swear. Calm down, babe. Look, would you tell him? Are you talking to me? Yes, tell him you're not a guy called Brian. You're just some random guy. What? Just shout it. I'm just... Look out! Just some random guy not called Brian. There, babe, you believe me now? Babe, babe! Shit, he hung up on me. Sorry about that. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, how well do you think that went? He'll be fine when I surprise him. Probably just having a bad day. He can never stay mad at me for long. Opposites attract, you know. He's the serious, responsible, pay your bills, safe for the future type, and I'm the sexy, bohemian, go oh, for days and do X in the middle of the desert type. I'm young. I'm still exploring my mind, discovering who I am. He knows I'll come back when you run out of money. Whoa there, random guy. Less of the judging. Wait, there's my phone again. What's up? Look, I'm seriously flagging now. I'm going to rest my eyes for a few minutes if that's cool. See if I can power nap my way into a second wind. So, broadcast tower behind the Vinewood sign. I think it's Mount Han Drive. Just holler when we get there. You're the best. And don't touch me or anything, okay? Can't promise anything. A jest, of course. You're horribly. Are you sure this is the right way? I am absolutely positive I am taking you where you need to go. But you need money for bail. That's where we come in. At Jay's Bail Bonds. We're your new friend. We're here hey, listen, I'm 99% sure the Vinewood sign is not on this stuff. Trust me, it's just on the other side. I hope you're right, because this is weirding me out now. interested in taking care of some lost travelers for a price. And so it is. And so it is. Leave the body, take the gold. Come on! Move! Move!
There you are, Trevor. Ah, oh, if it ain't my favorite marksman, huh? How are you, Cletus? Fine and dandy, sir. You ready to hunt some elk? Ah, uh, beat satellite dishes. <laughs> Lead the way. Oh, <laughs> here you go. Now, uh, put this in your mouth. A bad day hunting still beats a good day working, my pa always used to say. What is this thing in my mouth? And why do I have the feeling I'm not the first person to use it? I'll explain that in a while. Let's start with the basics for now. Elk senses are razor sharp. If they see you or hear you, you'll spook them. And they'll bolt. You gotta move slowly and quietly and keep that aside. But an elk's nose is as big as defense. When you're tracking elk, you always need to watch the wind direction. If you don't stay downwind of them, they'll pick up your scent and be gone before you can say boo. Especially with that distinctive, uh, musk of yours. I'm calling pot and kettle on that, my friend. All right. This is a prime area right here. You feeling ready, Trevor? Raring to go. Okay, let's see if we can bag ourselves some elk. I saw a young bull using a down tree to scratch his antlers on not ten minutes ago. Follow me. I'll keep us downwind so we don't spook him. Go on, put him down. That shot. Can't get too much cleaner than that. All right, stick with me. I'll lead us further in. Keep quiet and stay close. I ain't seen much else or nothing else out here. But we're gonna have to see if we can coax one into the open. That's where that thing you've been chewing on comes in. Ah, yes. Please enlighten me. It tastes like old person. That's a diaphragm. Mm-hmm. An elk whistle for you and me. All right, give it a good blow. See if we can get any nearby elk to holler back. Sounds like... Someone strangling a clarinet player, and I talk from experience. Shh, listen. Okay, you hear that? He's over there. You're downwind, so he's yours to lose, Trevor. Go get him. Shot like a true professional. Okay, follow me. We'll move a little further in. Stay quiet. I think we might have a mating pair up ahead. Let's check it out. Now, remember, if it's a pair, we're only here for the male. No does. That's my rule. So if you see one with no antlers, leave it be. Blow your whistle again. See if you can get a beat on them. Okay, this is good. Same as before, nice and steady. Now lay him in the shade. You got this now, Trevor. Uh, you're on your own for the next one. Tell you what, I got an idea how we can go in on this together. Text me a pic of your next kill, and we'll talk business. Ah, I gotta go. Uh, good luck. I'll holler at you in a while. Got the photo, another nice kill. So this is what I'm thinking. All this demand for wild raised meat with them city folks right now? If we divide and conquer, I reckon we could make ourselves a tidy little sideline. Text me a photo of your quarry. I'll let you know what it's worth and come by to pick it up as soon as I can. I like my meat with some age on it anyways. Uh, what do you say? Yeah, I say we'll see. I got a few other irons in the fire at the moment. All right, well, the offer's there, and you can keep that elk collar. Was my grandma's before she passed. Uh, be hearing from you. It's 
Your unlucky day, my friend! myself suffering from a momentary attack of goodwill. Oh, you are such a sweetheart! I'm not even from here. Me. Thanks so much. They set me up! Don't do it! Stay away from that case! Now, you are a dead man! If you ain't using it... Okay, let's get the show on the road. Let's see what you're made of, son. Yeah. 